What's up, DJ Tech Tools? I was showing somebody a VCI 100 the other day and showing her how to use Tractor Pro and the VCI and explaining the importance of beat grids. And I realized, holy cow, we don't have a how to beat grid your song tutorial on Tractor Pro. So let me show you really quickly how to do that. First of all, we're in Tractor Pro right now. Um, it's labeled Tractor Scratch Pro, but it's a, basically the exact same program. And in order to beat grid a song, you need to open up this lower quadrant of this window right here by clicking on this tab. That's going to expand your options. Here you have the Q panel. Here you have the grid panel. We're going to be working in these two areas right here. So the first part in setting a grid is finding a downbeat or a part in the song where you can hear a distinct part of the beat. So if we start this track playing, most people might think, well, I want to set the grid right there at the beginning of the track because that's the beginning of the track. Well, a little trick you might want to follow if you want your songs to always line up is to actually set the grids on the snares because snares will almost always line up, but kicks may not. So let's find a place. There's one right there. There's a snare. I'm going to move it till it's just on the top of the snare. Set a cue point using the in button. That drops a cue point. Check it. Sounds pretty good. Now I need to store that cue point. Luckily, there it is, the store button. So now we have a cue point stored in the number one position. That's not a beat grid, though. We need to change this to a grid. Now, notice what happened. All these lines right here just shifted. I'm going to delete that and see how they shift. As we scroll through this track, you're going to notice that there are a bunch of white lines. And these are the lines that Tractor has determined that, uh, where, where the beats are in that song. But if we go back to that point, and once again, store cue point and turn it into a grid, Tractor's now stretched out a grid across the track based on that point and the BPM, which can be found right here if we move into the grid window. Now, I've already done a grid on this song, so it's pretty much going to be perfect. But let's go ahead and intentionally mess it up, because chances are it's not going to be perfect the first time. So um, once we've set our cube beat marker, then we're going to go through and we're going to check the grid against the song. And as you can see already, as I'm going through, what we're looking for here is we're looking for these white lines to line up with this peak. And we can see that the white line is falling behind the peak, which means that we need to move the grid, which we can do using these buttons, to the right. Now what this is actually going to do, as you can see, is going to slowly raise the BPM. Now since we're early on in the song, it's not going to move the grid very fast. So we may want to just manually drag that, and you can see how the grid is changing up and down until we see those lines lining up. Now we're going to go a little bit further into the song, and I can already see we went too far. So we're going to go back, we're going to go a little further into the song, and we're going to keep doing this until we start seeing the grid drift, which it is. You can see now these white lines are just a little bit ahead of the beat. So this time we'll use these buttons right here to just fine tune that, go a little further in, now everything's looking pretty good, so let's go to the very end of the song. And you can see at the very end of the song, way, way, way away from this beat marker, small, small differences in BPM make a big difference in the grid. So down here we can just make little adjustments and our grid gets super locked in. It looks from these lines that the grid is actually just a little bit ahead of the beat. So what we can do is actually move the entire grid itself, or the beat point, using these buttons here. We're either going to move it to the right or to the left. So this is not changing the tempo this time, it's just moving the entire grid. There is a way to automatically set beat grids when you load or analyze a song, or just by clicking this icon here. But as you can see, it's not really right, because there's the beat, and here's where the beat grid was set automatically. Not exactly where you would want it. So if you want to turn that off, you may want to go into Preferences, go into File Management, and turn off Set Beat Grid when detecting BPM. So there you have it. 
Setting beat grids in Tractor Pro.